Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 8, 24. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. As we read this, this is going along with the last couple of verses we've been talking about, and it's talking about wisdom and talking about how old wisdom is, wisdom being there at the beginning. This is just giving a little bit more detail. It's referencing um, Genesis 1, 2 and Genesis 7, 11. Genesis 1, 2 says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the depth, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So it's saying wisdom was there. I mean, this is before that was even around. So last time as I was talking about wisdom, I had kind of given a list of some of the technology. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I went to technologynetworks.com and I decided to look up some, now these were statements that were made public, that they had been around and these were people who were leaders at the time in different positions and they made statements about their wisdom and what they thought were going on. Lord Calvin in 1883 said, X-rays will prove to be a hoax. In 1870, Sir John Eric Erickson said, the abdomen, the chest, the brain will forever be shut from the intrusion of a wise and human surgeon. I actually like this because um, he says it's never going to happen. And then we have Pierre today, 1872, Louis Pasteur's theory of germs is a ridiculous fiction. And then we have Simon Newcomb in 1888, who was an astrologist. We are probably nearing the limit of all we know about space. So as we see, these were intelligent people of the day, leaders of the day, and they're predictions of what they thought their wisdom was ended up not being true as we can see. Um, these were also, I chose some that were with it over a hundred years. So a hundred years we can tell that, you know, some of these things aren't even true today. So I pray what the Lord does today is he takes the spirit of God and he uses the scripture and he helps you to look at God's wisdom. Thank you for listening.